everyone. Welcome to Sugar Glider Diaries. I'm Kimberly. So today I'm going to take you along a little shopping trip that I did for my Sugar Gliders to Target, TJ Maxx, and PetSmart. So obviously none of these places are exclusively for Sugar Gliders, but every place that I go shopping, I like to look and see if I can find anything that would be good for my Sugar Gliders. So this specific trip I documented for TikTok, but I thought I would share this with you as well. So the first place that I went was Target. Uh, there wasn't a ton of things that I found at Target. Target's obviously a little overpriced with quite a few things, but the things that I found at Target was Blue Dawn dish soap. So for those of you who don't know, that's a great cleaner that you can use for your cage. That's what I use exclusively now. Long story, I'll share that with in another video, but that's what I'm using for my gliders cage now and they had it there. So I thought I'd show you that. They have tons and tons of cute storage containers at Target. I am a really big sucker for storage containers and they had some really cute ones, especially if you wanted to have like a little cute container for treats. So this is what I have my mixed treats in. So something similar to this is what I was envisioning with these storage containers. I also got this at Target a while ago. This is one of my favorite ones. I keep the fish sticks in here. Yeah, I got this at Target a long time ago, so. Another thing that you could get at Target is a shower liner. So if you're wanting to protect your wall and you want a cheap, affordable, easy to clean thing, you get a plastic shower curtain liner. I like the one that has the little magnets at the bottom because then it kind of sticks to the cage a little bit better. The, the shower liner is perfect for my height cage with the magnets at the bottom. If you didn't have one that's this tall, then the magnets at the bottom wouldn't matter because you'd probably have to trim off the bottom anyway. But if you're gonna do a triple high critter nation, uh, that would be a great, that's what I use, is a shower curtain liner that has the little magnets. You could also get wiffle balls. I think the wiffle balls from different vendors are probably, or even off of Amazon, are probably gonna be a better variety of colors. But, you know, they were here. And you could make toys out of wiffle balls. They're great for pulleys. These wiffle balls look like the, the holes were a little small, so you would have to widen them with a the Dremel. I've seen people take wacky whirly straws or the little silicone, long silicone pieces and stick them through all the different holes. And then the gliders have to pull those out as like a reset type of toy. So you could do that with these kind of balls as well. There was also a really cute cookie jar and until I saw the price, I was actually really tempted to get it because it would make a really, really cute ball pit, but it was $20. And just out of principle, I decided not to get it. It was not glass, it was plastic, so it would have been safe. You would take the, the top all the way off or open up the, the little part that pops open. You would just take that completely off so that it could easily go in and out, probably attach some like butterflies or something to the outside so they can grip on it to climb up a little bit easier. Anyway, it would have been really cute, but I decided not to get it because yeah, 20 bucks. All right, so next we have TJ Maxx. So TJ Maxx has the cutest storage containers and I love how it's always different. I'll show you a couple things that I've gotten from TJ Maxx in the past. So this was a container that I got from TJ Maxx. I also got the baskets that I have underneath my cage and in the back of my cage I have lots of storage things from TJ Maxx. I've been really happy with their prices and their quality. So yeah I'm a sucker for storage things. I, yeah so sorry you're gonna probably see a lot of those videos in here. Oh I got the cutest bunny. I know this has nothing to do with sugar gliders. It's not for them. It's for me but I'm showing you anyway because you know why not. I'll show you where I put it right now. I actually have it in my bathroom and it holds my necklaces. I originally got it for the sugar glider room but I haven't brought it in here yet because I like it in my bathroom for now. This is a really cute container that you could use for treats or reset toys, you know, the little hanging monkeys or the little bracelets that you put on the outside, you know, that I put on the outside, uh, anything that's small or even like for charms or toy making supplies, this would be a really cute little container that you could use for that. Again, they have shower curtains at TJ Maxx, plastic shower curtains. So there's that. Oh, they had this really cute baby play mat there. I didn't end up getting it because it was pretty expensive. I'm gonna keep my eye out for one at like a thrift store or a secondhand store, but this would not be for in the cage, but it would be great for tent time. So it just has little hangy downy things, especially if you can get the ones that like kind of crinkle when you, when you hold them in your hand, like the little butterflies that have the crinkly stuff in the wings. That's what I'm on my, I got 
my eye open for at a thrift store. So this would only be for supervised tent time, but that's what I'm thinking I would like to find, but I didn't want to spend full price on this. Oh, they also had these stackable rings. I have a friend whose gliders love to take these rings off. It's like a reset toy for them. I've tried that with my gliders and they didn't really like it, so I just gave mine to her. But that's something, if you find it at a thrift store or at TJ Maxx, that might be worth looking into. Be sure to note the diameter of the hole of the top ring, because that could be questionable as far as if it might be too narrow and they could get stuck in it. But I don't know what that, exactly what that measurement is, but just if you're going to get it, you might need to take the top ring off. Just depends on the size of your gliders, but watch them, see if they can go in and out of that top ring hole. And if they can, then great. If not, then just don't use that one. They had some really cute hampers and baskets. Again, I'm a sucker. If you can get a hamper with a lid on it, that would be great for your, your glider room. So if you have fleece items that you're going to store up and then do one big load of laundry, uh, you having a lid on it would be great. I don't have a hamper with a lid and it doesn't seem to bother me, but if you had it, it would be a bonus. More storage bins, because like I said, I'm a sucker for storage bins. And they also had these cute little plastic toys. They, you can find these at the dollar store. You just want to make sure if it's like a little farm animal toy or something like that to put in the toy box, that if you can, if you scrape the paint with your fingernail, that nothing chips off. Uh, most of these toys don't, but you just want to make sure. So these little farm animal toys might be a good little toy box item for your gliders. And then my find from TJ Maxx, besides the bunny, was my stuff and things boxes. So I saw these really cute stuff and things boxes. They were like this natural wood and I was going to get them because they were a really reasonable price. And then I would think, was thinking, oh, if they were only in gray, that would be even better because I love gray. I'm a sucker for gray. And then I saw the things box and it was gray, but I couldn't find any stuff box. So I was looking and looking and looking and I about gave up. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to look inside the things box. And there was the stuff. I was so excited. <laughs> so I bought it and I'll show you what it looks like in my closet. It's cute. I like it. I'm also going to do a full like closet and toy tour. So stay tuned for that. I have some more hanging things. I'm going to really make this look super cute. But anyway, this is what it looks like today. All right. Next was PetSmart. Um, PetSmart does not have very many things for gliders. I mean, not anything that's marketed for gliders. I would recommend getting from PetSmart. I wouldn't trust their judgment on that especially sewn things, usually they're not up to safety standards. So I wouldn't recommend that or like pet food or anything like that that has a picture of a glider on it. Probably a no-go. But I did find quite a few things in the aquatic section, in the lizard section, in the hamster section, in the small animal section. Yeah, so here's what I found. So in the aquatic section, you can actually use these aquatic little plastic pieces, you pull them off, you attach them with a zip tie or a mini link onto your other toys to give them more of like a natural feel because the plastic is very thick. So it's totally safe for gliders. If they, if they even if they're a little bit of a chewer, that should be fine. So yeah, I, felt, I got that actually. I haven't made any toys with it yet, but I, I purchased that. I also found these little this little, it was just tiny. It probably wasn't really the most ideal purchase. I didn't get it, but you could use it as like a little foraging mat. You could hide treats in there and then they'd have to dig through. You definitely want it on the bottom of the cage, not any, anywhere up high where it could fall because it's heavy. It's not plastic and it could injure a glider if it fell on them. But if you kept it on the bottom of the cage and then hid little treats in it, uh, that would be a fun enrichment toy for them. They also have really good heavy dishes. So if you're wanting to find like a heavy dish that won't tip over to put like a really shallow water dish or a um, for like their kibble or little treats or mealy worms or something, they had some really good ones in the lizard section. And they also had really good ones, I believe it was in the hamster section. So they do have those at PetSmart. In general, please don't buy hamster toys. Yeah. Wood is not usually a good idea. It stinks. It can't clean it well. Lots of wood is not safe. So in general, I just stay away from wood. Uh, I only have a, I have a couple little wood perches that are made out of glider safe wood. But besides that, I just don't really use wood in my cage except for cork bark. 
you can find cork bark toys like um, logs in the lizard or like reptile section. Just make sure that you really scrub those good and you boil them, scrub them, boil them, scrub them, boil them, scrub them. Yeah, it's a process, but you could use those. They're good for a little hide for your glider. I didn't see any this day, but just as a side note, this little cute pink thing was in the hamster section. And this was the only exception that I found in the hamster section for, you know, something that actually could be suitable for gliders. It was just a really cute little dome. Uh, the opening was plenty big. It was made out of solid plastic. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It was really cute. I didn't get it, but you could. Uh, don't get hamster balls for your gliders. Their little to toes can get stuck in the little slits. They're running their own poop and pee. Uh, just get one of the runabouts or the roll arounds, I think is what they're also called. I have a whole video on that. I'll link in the description box. Um, and don't get hamster wheels. They're not hamsters, guys. They need specialty things that are just for them. So I'll, I'll link in the description box where I get my wheels from. I don't recommend exotic nutrition, just my personal opinion. I don't think that their wheel is ideal. Their wheel is ideal, kind of rhymey. Anyway, especially a wheel that has a middle bar sticking out, a glider can jump, hurt their back, get their patagium wrapped around it, get their tail wrapped around it. There's been deaths, there's been amputations, there's been injuries. Don't get a wheel that's made for hamst hamsters, especially not one with a middle bar. There is water bottles at PetSmart. So if you wanted to get a water bottle, I currently use water silos. I feel like they're easier to just get fresh water in. They're less drippage, less clogging, yada, yada, yada. But I did use water bottles for years. Just make sure you tap the bottom ball to make sure that the water is flowing when you put their cage in at night because they can get stuck and gliders have passed away even with a couple different water sources because the balls got stuck and the owner didn't realize it and the glider didn't have any access to water. Don't get bird toys. I mean, sometimes you can find a all plastic bird toy that actually ends up being glider safe. But in general, if it's made for birds, it's probably not gonna be good for gliders. You don't want something with wood. Usually bird toys have wood that has been dyed. So that's not really ideal or good for your glider, especially if the wood is toxic, it's gonna stink. And it's also have a lot of rope. Rope can get wrapped around your glider's little fingers and cause amputations and injuries. So stay away from bird toys in general. There was some tiny little cages that I thought, you know, that might actually not be bad if you wanted like a little vet cage, something to bring if your glider's gonna have a surgery or something like that, if you're gonna bring them to a vet. It would not be big enough for like a temporary cage for any really reason, but just like as a transport type cage is all I was thinking about with these but I couldn't find on the box where it said the bar spacing. So you wanna make sure the bar spacing is less than a half an inch. There was this cute little yellow bathtub that again, would have to go on the bottom of the cage cause it's, you know, you wouldn't want it to fall. It thinks it's made out of ceramic. Uh, but as long as it was secured and on the bottom of the cage, that'd be kind of cute. Or just for like some pictures of your glider, get him in a little bath with no water, no water. And then the last thing that I found that I did not buy I, heard, I didn't think I bought anything at Petco except for those little aquatic things. Anyway, but you could get these little feather, you know, the things you play with cats. Make sure that if you get something that is a cat toy, even if it's supervised, that it does not have catnip in it. Catnip is toxic to gliders, but this little, just if it's just like a little feather wand, you could easily play with that, you know, through the cage bars or in the tent time. So if you're gonna do bathroom bonding time or tent time and you wanna play around with your gliders with the feather wand, that would be fun. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want me to do more things like this, I'm planning on doing one for when I go thrift store shopping because I really like going thrift store shopping for sugar gliders. So if you would like that, comment below, give it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.